There you go. Time to drop the Alma. Got changed up a little bit. Got to do this two days in a row. I threw you off, didn't it? It's a good start down on the inside and into the number one spot. Here's Spencer Mason. Here comes Miller back down low. The 97 car slips on through. Crossover move. Mason's going to lead that lap around there for the 98 car. Got him by about 26 thousandths of a second. So hustles up and over goes Gavin Miller. Got into the wall, and that is a vicious tumble down the back straightaway. That front end caught, pulled that over, rode up the wall, and at that point, it was all over. Just got out of the race car, race fans. Give him a big round of applause. That was a slobber knocker of a tumble back there, and I'm sure he got his bell rung on that for sure as you see him walking down behind the truck and... Uh, Man, up front, Spencer Mason's race to start. He punches the throttle. We're back underway. Look at he's splitting down in the corner. Tanner carrying down on the inside. Holding down that number two spot. In the turn, number three. And it looks like second, third, and fourth all trying that low line. Here comes Dason personally now. The number 19 car got a good drop to the inside of Love. Jesse works the rim. Now to turn number two and down the back shoot. Giving it to what four down into turn number three as well. Good battle taking place back behind as Emerson Axum's trying to hold off Buddy Kofoid. 67K car started back in that number five spot. Now has got P3 away from Axum. Here he's holding down that number two spot pretty well as Kofoid lets it slip up off the bottom, finds some traction in the middle of the racetrack, now fires it deep into turn number three. Axum trying to follow these tire tracks. Meanwhile, back behind, the 84 car continues to hold off. The challenge is a Thorson, but now Logan Seavey's throwing his hand into the mix. So he looks out the inside. Thorson chops across the suit of the 57 car. That slows up Seavey down into turn number three. It'll cost him some time on the front straightaway. So we're running deep into turn number one. Trying to find some room to roam around that 88 car. Up to the back bumper he goes. Watch Logan Seavey in the 57. He's a tick quicker in the 88. Just cannot figure out a way to get around that hot rod just ahead. So he grabs the binders, pokes the nose down low, and here it comes. See, he's going to rotate and motivate around the middle of the racetrack onto the front straightaway. Got Thorson picked off. Now we'll set his sights on Jesse Love. Thorson trying to come back. It ain't going to happen for him because Logan Seavey is bad fast. Ain't no doubt about it. And he's still got 19 laps to run down your race leader up front, which incidentally is still Spencer Mason, who now has half a straightaway advantage over Tanner Carrick. Now he's going to pull a slider on Tanner Thorson. Thorson kept it hustling on the high side, however, and hangs on to position for now. CV, one more shot at Love up front. There it is, a little drive out across the racetrack. Now he's got the spot away from the 84 car. He'll go down low to protect on the slider. As he and Mason have been doing it out, now Spencer slips on through. Carrick close within about half a second with two laps to go. Not sure if it's close enough to get the job done. Now we'll see the white flag this next time coming out of the corner. Go for it. Might be able to find second away from Carrick as he rides off the rim. White flag is out. This is it. Final voyage of velocity for Spencer Mason. Got the roll for the pole here tonight. Kept his foot to the 10. Worked it around the racetrack as Kofoy goes after second. But Spencer Mason picks up the win on night number one of Engine Madness at Merced. Kofoy's going to go second. Tanner Carrick third. Logan Seavey all the way up to fourth for 12th starting position.